The puss moth is a large moth with a soft, striped, and fluffy coat that makes it look like a cat. That's where it gets its name. This strikingly beautiful moth lives in the dense woodlands, moors, and hedges of Europe, but it sometimes visits people's gardens. Puss moths are mostly active at night. Moths use the moon to help them navigate. That's why human lights can confuse them. Like every moth, the puss moth starts its life cycle as a larva and later becomes a caterpillar. The changes the caterpillar goes through are known as instars. Puss moth caterpillars defend themselves if they're attacked. They use small whips attached to their wings and can also squirt formic acid, which is the same venom bees use. The puss moth is solitary. The female puss moth spends most of her time in trees. That's where she lays eggs and feeds on leaves. It is easy to recognize a puss moth because of its large size, furry texture and marbled appearance. It resembles the coat of a striped cat. The puss moth is one of the largest moths, with an average wingspan of 2.3 to 3 inches. The males are slightly smaller than the females. Another striking moth that looks similar to these moths is the leopard moth, Zuzera pyrena. The leopard moth has a white body with distinctive black spots that look like the coat of a leopard or a dalmatian. It is smaller than the puss moth. Do not confuse this moth with the tree asp or southern flannel moth caterpillar found in the United States. This caterpillar is sometimes mistakenly called a puss moth, but it's an entirely different species. The southern flannel moth caterpillar, Megalopige opercularis, is round and covered in fluffy brown fur. This caterpillar is highly poisonous to humans. Its sting can cause severe skin rashes. These moths prefer to live in aspen, willow, or poplar trees because those are their preferred leaves. They are active from April to August. These moths are common throughout Europe, Scandinavia, and Eastern Europe. They also live in parts of China and North Africa.